Hi everyone, my name is Taha Hamid and I'm the sales engineer here at D-Link Canada and in this video I will be showing you guys the web interface of our D-Link Network Video Recorders or NVR in short and hopefully by the end of this video you will have a good understanding about the NVR and how it works. So currently D-Link has two network video recorders or NVRs to choose from. So on your left hand side it's the DNR322L and on the right hand side it's the DNR202004P. So for the purpose of this demo I will be using the DNR322L NVR as well as uh, some D-Link cameras connected to a switch. So from here let me jump to my switch interface. So let me give you a quick, uh, let me give you guys a quick overview of my network setup. So over here, I'm using the DGS 1100 10MP switch, a small 10 port PoE switch running our surveillance mode to help me provide a quick network diagram. So over here, this is a great switch to help you provide valuable information like the IP addresses of the cameras, um, as well as where the devices are located and uh, the PoE budget of the camera as well as the total switch. So over here as well you can click and disable ports or turn off or turn on cameras. So it's a great switch and comes in really handy. So out of the box uh, the NVRs are set to receive an IP address from your DHCP server but for this demo I have assigned a static IP to make it easy so let me use the switch to find the IP address of the NVR and let's jump on the web interface from here. So the IP address of the NVR is 192.168.10.100 so from here let me pull up the web interface of our NVR So this is the first page or the home page of the NVR. So the DNR322L is a standalone storage device that can record video simultaneously from up to 16 cameras or 16 network channels. So this is the main screen or the home screen of the box. This section will enable you to configure and view the live video from your network cameras. But currently I don't have any cameras added so that's why you see no live video here. So the camera list section over here on the, let me first close these sections here. So the camera list section here displays the cameras connected to your NVR and their respective IP addresses. Uh, the PTZ controls on the box, system info, uh, some storage information, so your hard drive information, as well as uh, the EMAP over here. So you can click EMAP and then to check EMAP to see cameras location and connection status. So clicking on the cameras will take you to its live video. So right now I don't have any cameras added to the box so that's why you don't see the cameras on my blueprint. So on your left hand side there is a menu bar. So the menu bar on the left hand side of the screen will allow you to access different sections. So for example the setup wizard. So this will start the setup wizard, uh, which will help you set up and configure basic settings of the NVRs. Um, the setup section here will open the settings page of the NVR where you can manually configure and um, configure different settings and features of the device. The camera search option will let you automatically set, uh, search for new cameras to, do, to add to the NVR. And then the backup section over here this will let you back up the recording stored on the NVRs to a USB, Samba server or FTP server. And the help will provide you with information about using the NVRs. Okay, so now let's add some cameras to our NVRs. So for that we will click the camera search option here and clicking search will search for your network cameras. So the system will list all the available cameras at this moment. So give it a few seconds and it's going to populate two cameras here so just click on them. If there's any password assigned 
enter the password and add the cameras. So over here you can see the camera in red so basically this represents like the camera is added. So the other camera doesn't have any password assigned to it so simply go ahead and add them and you can see the two cameras un appear under the camera list. Go ahead and save it. From here you can jump back to the live screen and see your two cameras. You can also change the view. So now from here let me quickly go ahead and show you how to set your recording schedules. So by clicking on the setup option and recording schedule so once the cameras have been set up, the scheduling system allows for continuous recording or recording dur during specifically allotted time frames. So each camera can be set to record independently at present intervals and it also provides event recording based on specific triggers. So for example, I can set a zone where uh, the box will record on motion only. So let me go ahead and delete this and I can set the box to record from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. on record on motion. So you can select the days and hours you want the box to record on motion only. The box can also do pre-records for up to 60 seconds as well as the uh, so 60 seconds before and uh, 30 uh, and 300 seconds uh, after motion is detected and it will also perform 24 hour 7 recording or with flexible schedules and event uh, setup. So the NVR also can be configured to override the oldest uh, data automatically when hard drive uh, space runs out so allowing, allowing for continuous and uninterrupted recordings so you can specify the number of days and recordings uh, should be kept so within the limits of the hard drives uh, high disk capacity. So from here let me jump to the playback option. So apart from recording it also has live view and playback with simple operations for real useful video surveillance. So this feature allows you to search and playback uh, recorded vid video. So you can click uh, the day highlighted in the red on the calendar. So the date in the red shows recording present. So I'm gonna go ahead and click 26. So the view recorded files window over here will show you information about the available video clips. So you can find over here so you can find your uh, the live video, highlight it and hit OK from where you can then queue in and queue out and export the video to your desired folder. So let me go ahead and click OK. So we're here. I'm going to queue in. And queue out and export the video to your desired folder. and it's going to export. So let me go back to the search, uh, the setup section. So there's a few things to note here under event, uh, the email settings. So if an event occurs, so for, for example, such as motion detection or hard disk failure, you can set the box to send you an email notification. So here you can configure uh, your email notification settings. The EMAP settings, the EMAP lets you view where the cameras are placed via uh, a blueprint of your business. So when an event occurs, the EMAP event indicator will show the location of the event. So you can upload your EMAP to the NVR and then you can drag and drop cameras onto the EMAP indicating camera placements. So for example, over here, I will put one camera for the rec recreation room and the other camera for the gym and hit save. If 
you click the event settings. So the events setting, this page lets you configure what to do when an event is triggered by a camera, such as uh, when motion is detected. So over here, the NVR can perform an action such as sending an email notification. And uh, if the hard disk, hard disk is there, if there's a hard disk error, so the um, the box can also allow you to send like an email notification. And the last thing that I wanted to show you guys uh, is user accounts. So this is for multiple users. So the NVR also allows multiple user accounts. So user account enables you to create user accounts to access your Na uh, NAS device or network uh, video recorder device and set uh, user privileges for them. So for example, here the admin gets uh, live playback as well as set, uh, set up privileges, whereas the test user only uh, gets live privileges to these checked cameras or channels. So thank you guys for your time. That's all what I have for you today. And I hope this video was helpful in understanding the D-Link NVR. So for assistance, on projects or questions, feel free to reach out to your D-Link ex account executive or our inside sales team at the information provided. Um, thank you.